Hey, it's Patrick and let's talk about fuel injection tuning and specifically the Power Commander 6 from Dynojet. Now, Dynojet is a huge name in the world of tuning, going way back all the way to the carbureted days before there was all these fancy fuel injection controllers. What we're looking at here today is their latest iteration of the Power Commander. Big range of fitment on this, which means a range of pricing. Basically, they have fitments for Harleys, for sport bikes, even dirt applications, and that's gonna mean pricing anywhere from 340 bucks all the way up to $525. Like I said, they make stuff for just about everything, so that's gonna give you a kind of a wide range of options if you didn't wanna go, maybe with the Power Commander Wave, you're looking at a Power Vision, going waffling back and forth on that. They have options out there, and we have a video that kind of breaks down uh, some of the more specific differences between the tuners. But as it relates to the Power Commander 6, it is the kind of old school piggyback style tuner. And the reason I say old school is because there's a lot of flash tuners out there now, like the Power Vision and the Power Vision series, where you flash that tune to your bike. The unit itself doesn't have to stay on the bike but also with the flash style, it locks to that bike and the tuner has to kind of stay with it. With the piggyback style, like the Power Commander 6, it stays on the bike while it's doing its job, while it's tuning, but if you sell the bike and you wanna keep your tuner, you can just take this and plug it in to another bike. Now, to tune with this, you have to use a laptop. There is no screen to tune with, it doesn't have an interface for a phone. You're using the old school laptop, but in my opinion, using that laptop with their software, I think you get a better overall look at what you're doing rather than trying to do it on the phone. So that doesn't really bother me too much. The one restriction this does have is they are chasing compliance with this tuner, carb compliance and overall compliance to make this 50 state. So it's gonna limit the amount of adjustments you can make. Basically, we're looking at only a 15% either plus or minus on the fuel and eight degrees of timing plus or minus on the ignition. So if you have a lightly modified bike, intake, exhaust, something like that, this is probably gonna be fine. If you're looking at more extreme modifications, just know that you're going to be limited to that 15% plus or minus in fuel and plus or minus eight degrees in timing. Now you can run DynoJet accessories with this. This is capable of holding two maps. So if you have that DynoJet accessory, the map switch, you can flip back and forth between maps. If you wanna run the pod unit where you have a display with more information at your fingertips, you can run that pod kind of similarly to the Power Vision where you get more displayed info. And you can run auto-tune with this, but just keep in mind the auto-tune is going to be restricted to that plus or minus 15. Like I said, overall, if you have basic modifications to your bike, this is gonna be a good pick. I'm not super stoked on the limited tunability. I'm the type of person that likes to add more modifications, but if you're just doing some bolt-ons, this is gonna keep you covered. I wouldn't worry too much about uh, tuning with the laptop. Like I said, I think it's actually more user-friendly once you get the laptop hooked up. And as far as an install, it's very easy. Everything plugs and plays. You don't need to splice wires or anything like that. Now, if you're looking for more info on this, go ahead and click that info tab on your desktop or mobile device. That's gonna take you to the product detail page where you can read other writers' reviews and more specifics about the PC6. Still looking for more information? Go ahead and reach out to our customer service team. They would love to talk to you about what works best for you, your motorcycle, riding style, and budget. I am Patrick, thank you for watching. Go work on those motorcycles.